All right, Dino, we're going to uh, continue with the questions from the floor here. So this is at Frankie7 underscore trade. That's his Twitter handle. Um, can you talk about how your approach has changed over the years and how are you still getting your bets on? That seems to be the harder skill these days. You're quite right, Frankie. You're quite right. Excuse my wife's boobs there. <laughs> Frankie, you're quite right. And the, I, I remember saying to some guys who worked at Labyrinths and Corals, and I remember saying this to them, and I'm not, I'm not here to say, oh, I'm definitely right, but I remember saying to them, look, if you allow computers to take over, oh, uh, the odds checker, Paddy Power shorten it, we've got to shorten it. If you, they've shot themselves in the foot. I remember them saying, oh, we've got this thing now, an auto trader. Yeah. Well, all you're doing there is welcoming that into it, is to, five years down the line, you won't have a job. Well, I'll tell you now, that person who said that to me, has not got a job. And he knew the game. He was pretty he was pretty knowledgeable of the industry. But um sorry, he'd gone off at tangent. What was Frankie's question? Thank you. And he, well he wants to know how your approach has changed over the years and how are you getting your bets on? Um well it, it is a case of online myself in the morning, you know, I've got arrangements with some firms to win, like I said, a maximum of a grand. And other than that, I use other people and they may also have arrangements with firms and or they'd have accounts they'd get ip uh, ids and they would you know that's when we we crack on and vice versa they would ask they would ask me to help them so that's it but you know we're not breaking any laws all we're doing is trying to back a winner okay right uh, james gibb win wants to know it was fascinating fascinating to hear the other day that shane revel doesn't use speed figures when formulating his tissue, he was wondering, therefore, if there are any elements at all that Dean doesn't take into consideration when forming his opinions. What's his guy's name? James. Yeah. James. Um, listen, it's who I talk to. <laughs> it's literally, it's literally who I talk to on a daily basis and have done to the same people for the majority of my time in this game. You know, there's people I speak to now and I knew them when I was 18 years of age. And and, and that's it, you know, and they would be, I, in my own right, I, I, I don't put myself up as a judge. I never have put myself up as a judge. Although I do say Simon, as in Simon Roberts, I respect his opinion as much as anyone's. You wouldn't, if you'd like to play him Head on. Anyone's anyone's welcome to take his bets, but I assure you that he'll end up with his sh their shirt. The, the sadly camera shy Simon Roberts. I hasten to add. <laughs> no, it wouldn't, but, be uh... si wouldn't be wouldn't be wouldn't be Simon's game. <laughs> um, Tiger Roll One Hundred would like to know: Do you get swayed on your betting decisions by how the exchange is moving, or do you stick to your own opinion? No, I would let. It, I would. It's. I think. There's some very good judges on there, you know. I mean, when they're, um, of, of course, like everyone, no one gets it right all the time, but they do. Um, it must be taken into consideration, without a doubt. Okay, um, at SABC one two three D. That can't be his real name. I don't think it is. No, <laughs> all he's written is one word: affordability. But we're going to go on to that in a bit, aren't right? We? Okay, uh, Liam's Mud G twenty five. He says he knows your horses, but when you punt on football markers, do you play match odds back or lay on the Asian handicaps or other? I don't. I don't never. I, full stop. You know what I mean? I don't never. I barred myself years ago from betting on football. Years ago. Blimey. 15 years plus. 10, well, 10 years plus. That's a tough game to bet on football. This is art. At RS Chris Rose 11, he wanted to know where you got your money on. You've already answered that. But do you use black market books? Um, what do you call a black market book? I, I don't, I mean, I would be very, friend of mine, you, you'd know him. He, he's just got a bit of an issue with a, one of these firms abroad. 
again, I, I, I blame the gambling commission because if it wasn't if it wasn't for them, you know, he's had a bet with he's had some bets with firm their licensing Caracas or something like that. Well, I I ain't got to tell you the rest of the story. You can guess what's happened. But regarding the black market, private layers, are there any private layers anymore? I don't. I think invariably the money does end up either, maybe at a lesser price, but I think invariably the money does end up in a UK bookies satchel or, or, or a betting exchange. It might be at a lesser price and, you know, but so do I. Um, there is a couple that maybe are black market, but I would, I don't have any fears of not getting paid by them. You know, they'd be genuine guys. And I'd like to think that I'm a good judge of play with him, don't play with him. You, you know what I mean? It's, um, yeah. But listen, it, it, it's... They've, they've created their own monster, mate, without a shadow of a doubt. Right, now, I just, this is just something coming from me on what you said there. Yeah. Um, you said that the big, even the big multinational firms only lay you lose a grand. Yeah. So even though you want to get on, yeah. could you blame a small independent bookmaker, legal, for yeah. not wanting your business? Yeah, because... Uh, no, I couldn't blame him, sorry. No, I, I totally understand. I totally understand because... You know, let's say they laid me 40 quid at 12, you know, to win a monkey, let's say. What, you want the fractions? <laughs> it's quite possible they might not even lay another bet on the race. And, you know, they've laid, that's their book, 40 quid at 12. That's now six. So I do totally understand that. But, you know, but then, listen... That ain't a viable business. If they're only just laid me, you know, what they're just playing the punter. You know, I suppose they've got customers that they expect to lose in the long run, but or lure them onto machines, games, and one thing or another. That that's that's all they all seem to want to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, if I if I and I mean this, if I had my way. I would ban the whole lot of them games, and then there wouldn't be a problem. It'd make the bookies, it'd make the bookies buck up and do their job properly. You know, listen, when it's talk about taking prices, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, we put more. I assure you, not when I say we, I mean people who I listen to, myself backing them. We put more work into it than any other firm. You want to mention, you know, they, you know, if you're a trader at Ladbrokes or something, you go in at whatever time you go in, eight o'clock in the morning, you leave home at five o'clock. You leave to go home at five o'clock. We are, there is someone for us looking at the form for the next day. There'll be someone now looking at the form for, uh, for tomorrow's racing. So we work harder than them at it. So I don't, yeah, I live in a nice house. I'd have a few quid, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but no one's give it to us. We do work at it. You know what I mean? Guaranteed, and work harder than them. Guaranteed. I will add that it's a very nice house. But um, when, so when's your business on, Dean? When do you do it? Um, we, so we we have between we start playing at half past eight in the morning till about eleven thirty, and then we start again at six o'clock for the next day until say 6 30. right so when i when we got to know each other years ago it was on the race course yep so those days would be definitely gone you wouldn't 100%. Go, you wouldn't go back to trying to get no. them on no 100 percent. the value's gone by that point most definitely mate most definitely but you know listen with all this compliance stuff's about and, and i hope it does come right for the race course bookies because in all fairness they put their they pull their own money up it's their own money they they travel under thirty thousand mile a year, you, you know. It, it ain't they don't just it ain't a case of just turning up and fully on up and go home. They, you know, they, it's it's a it's a day's work in anyone's book. So I hope it does come round for them because listen, it was they you know Simon they, they was it was great times, wasn't it? Good times. <laughs>